The heat's been on there and we got a big socket. Hopefully don't break this thing off. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilson's YouTube channel. Welcome to Life with Bilson. So we're going to try to get this off with the impact gun now that we've been heating it up for a bit. And we'll see if it'll come off with the impact gun. And then if it doesn't, we'll heat her some more and we'll try the big Jimmy bar. Because as you've seen in the last video, this thing did not want to come off. Oh, there you go, Captain. That's all it takes is some heat. Heat and she's off. So if anybody says, a butane torch don't heat a bowl. There you go. Friggin' right. If you leave it on long enough, anything will heat up. So now that's off, we can pull it off again. But what we need is we need some kind of shank to go down the center. Now that's pretty long. But you never know, it might work. So let's get Trevor's contraption on here that he let me. Because it's definitely a contraption. We're gonna go inside diameter contraption. Oh yeah we are. She's a big jalopy. So we'll go in there and we'll see if we can't catch this thing, which is too long, guaranteed. Yeah, that's not gonna work, hold on. Let me get something else here. I'm just gonna take a bolt real quick and drill a head in the head. Okay, there we go. I just took a bolt and I drilled a little indentation into it and it's not long enough. For sake, man. The only other thing I can do is push on that. We'll get that in a few threads, and we'll try pushing on that sucker. Where there's a will, there's a way, eh? Come on, baby. Trevor, what's really going on? What kind of pull you got here, bud? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Let's try that. We'll figure this fucker out, kinda. Trevor said to me, you're not gonna like that puller too much because it's kind of a dick. It does work, it's just a matter of getting her lined up, he said. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and we'll get her working. I think I'm gonna change this around a little bit. Trev, don't like the way you have her, bud. I said not liking the way she is, brother. Frick, no I'm not. Let's try this way. I'm pretty sure we'll have better luck this way. Because this is kind of the way they're designed to be. Now the only other thing you can do with these, just so everybody knows, is you get everything straight and then you take a bungee cord, which I have over here somewhere. So you take a bungee cord, put these on, and then you wrap the freaking bungee cord around the doodad and then it helps hold it on the doodad. Maybe, hey, maybe. Holy frig. It's gonna be at the puller, there we go. Okay, so now it helps hold it for us until we line the prick up. Cause this thing just doesn't want to line up at all. She's just a cock. She is. we we'll get this in a few threads. We'll get this down and then we'll line her up. Now, as you can see, I don't have all the proper shit for this, but hey, it is what it is, it is. All right, something's happening. Now we just gotta find the right size. There we go. So let's see if we can't get this thing to move. Ooh, ooh, eh? Now when you're doing this, make sure you're bolting for it if you're not gonna screw threads up, because it can happen. So I'm gonna take this back off now, and I'm gonna put this back in on pressure mode. And then we'll just give her. Just put the full fucking beans to her. Hooked, 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 hooked. Hooked. Crooked her dicks. Hold on, let me get her straight so it doesn't cock us up. Okay, push the bolt in. Why wouldn't it? Ah. Uh. Okay, so we'll get this down and dirty and hopefully we'll be able to walk right off. <laughs> I 
I know what you're thinking. You're hooked on the damn balancer. No, I'm inside. I'm on the crank. Don't worry. And it is moving, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, dick. <laughs> okay, I'm out of threads. So all that means we got to move her up one. Are you watching? Probably freaking not. Sorry about that. Here. So we'll put this back around again, like so, and then we'll slap her back in. All right, let's get her lined up, and we'll crank on her. Captain, careful. I will go the wrong fucking way. Just that's off now I'm gonna take this pan off for you and we'll show you the timing chain and where the camshaft is and has to come out so this should be pretty simple these should come right out no problem now we're also gonna do the same thing to the the back of the block so we can make sure we don't ever have an oil leak because I don't like oil leaks I don't know about you guys me no like he oil whoa leakies and that fell off pretty easy it did so there you go we've got the oil pump this is the oil pump on an LS right here. Timing chain and whatnots and this and that's and everything else. So we'll just set that aside for now and we'll uh, see if we can't line up the timing, timing marks here. We should be right here. There's one and uh, the other one should be somewhere. Let's see if we can't turn this thing over somehow. I think I still have the flywheel on. So we'll give this a turn. It's gonna be a really slow process here, but hey, can't rush everything like I said. Am I close? Is it coming? Oh, friggin' turn the flywheel, no problem. So we should, that little dot, we want to face the bottom. Right on the muns. So now that's done, we can take off the oil pump. And if I'm not mistaken, the oil pump has another bolt over there somewhere. One, two, three, four. Pretty nice to have the oil pump right there, I'd say. Oh, I wish I didn't have to take the whole thing off. Bigger. Let's roll this thing. Why am I working on my back? Oh, shit. Oh, dicks. Forgot these are just sitting in there. Oh, fuck. Have you ever seen a block that uses standard and metric? It's kind of goofy. All right, so now that should slide off. There we go. There's the oil pump. Oil pump for an LS. So now that's all we can roll her back around. Oh, this engine stand is fucking golden. So now we gotta try to find the lineup at the bottom. Okay, I don't see any marks. I see it. It's right there. There we go. So when you're doing this, make sure these two dots line up together. Because if they don't, you'll cock yourself right over. Big time. But as you can see, the timing chain is meant. So you yank this off like that. And then we can pull that off, and that's all there is to taking the camshaft out. Yeah, there you go. So I might have to remove this plate, I'm not sure yet, but as it sits right there, that's it. We're ready for a camshaft swap. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We're gonna do a little bit of ordering here and hopefully get, uh, get a cam in at least and some head gaskets so we can put that part back together. Get an oil pan, we'll put that back together. And then uh, we'll get it pretty much that way no intake on her and then we can start pulling the old engine out of the safari because i want to fit this engine in my plan is get the camshaft in put on the old uh, head gaskets get some play-doh do a play-doh test see how much clearance we have with the valves and the pistons then we'll know what what head gaskets to order because you can get head gaskets right from 0 0.027 up to 1.46 in thickness eh so We'll do a Play-Doh test. We'll get the most compression we can out of this six liter. And then we'll uh, buy head gaskets. And then we'll put it together. We'll throw it in the van. And then we'll worry about an intake because I want to see how much height I have, whether to get a low ram or a high ram intake. I'm thinking I'm going to go with the Holly. Leave your comments down below and tell me what you think. I know the Hollies are a little dear, but they're a Holly. Got them? They're awesome. Hopefully everybody enjoyed this video. Until we get a cam. Or until I got something else to come up, uh, we'll, we'll call her a day and I'll get something to eat. Because I'm hungry, eh? I was working all day. But hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you know what to do for now.